this is John Bollinger with Premier Guitar, uh, currently torturing cameraman Perry with a very loud Dr. Z Z Plus. Tell you all about this very cool lamp after I tell you about how I'm recording it. Um, this is just my stock uh, Han Telecaster. It has a B bender in it. Other than that, it's stock. Running directly in. Um, and we're micing that with the Royer R121 mic going into Natchi Quartet and into Pro Tools. A little later on, I'll use a PRS so you can hear how it does with humbuckers. So let me tell you about this amp. So the Z Plus has an interesting backstory. Joe Walsh, my personal favorite eagle, uh, had been using the Maserati uh, on his last James Gang tour. And I think he'd been using it with the Eagles as well. Anyway, he talked to the good doctor saying he wanted a little more headroom, kind of a small amp with that same sort of headroom. Uh, they experimented a little bit, came up with this, ended up with a 2.6v6 arrangement. And I, I love the collaborative nature of it because I think it's a, a great thing about Z is that they've actually, he's actually done the research, talked to players, to find out what players want. And you could not find a better source than Joe Walsh. I mean, the dude is an absolute badass. Anyway, let me uh, tell you more about the ingredients and then we'll spin some knobs. Um, output tubes, as I said, is 6v6s. Preamp tubes are four 12AX7s and one 12AT7. Rectifier is a 5AR4. Controls are really straight ahead. You got volume, treble, mid, bass, cut, and master volume and reverb. Now the only thing a little bit out of the ordinary is cut. And you think of cut as a tone control for the output tubes. Uh, basically it's a high pass filter. Um, but right now when we came in, I'm running things not really flat. Uh, I've got cut in the middle, but I've got bass up, mid in the middle, and treble down. This amp has a lot of high end available should you want it. Also, there's a back switch that gives you between seven and 15 watts. Um, I think it sounds better on 15. I mean, granted, louder is always better, but this time it actually is really better. It, 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 um, the seven's fine, nothing wrong with that. If you have you know, the volume restriction, then great, uh, use that. But all the way at 15, it just sounds bigger. Sounds great. Um, the final ingredient is their proprietary boost pedal, which has a great idea. The volume is right there, which you can kick with your foot and turn up as you're you know, in the heat of battle. Uh, but you can adjust it to whatever kind of boost you want. So why don't I just spin knobs a bit? As I said, coming in, I was giving a little more bass, taking off the treble, and I had the volume up there quite a bit. So. Given a nice, kind of dirty, snarly thing. Which, you know, Brad Paisley, man, he's kind of set the gold standard for modern Telecaster tones, and his has that kind of bite to it. But not super dirty. You know, even with this, even dimed like that with the uh, pedal and gauge. I mean, that'll peel some paint off the walls. And dirty, but there's a real clarity to it. I mean, I think, you know, even on the, even on the neck. So that's dimed, and granted it's a Telecaster, but uh, it's dirty, but you get a real clarity of every note. And on the bridge, it's, I mean, it's, it's right, you know, full twangy snarl. So love that. Let me bring it back to a more reasonable level, bring up the master bit and show you what the, what the cut does. Okay, again, in the bridge, 
say we're... So, crank her up. Bring her the other way. So, you you got a season to taste, you know. Um, you're gonna find your your happy place in there somewhere. I kind of like it wide open. In fact, just for shiz and gives, let's go ahead and just dime this pig. See what it does. Ooh, I'm a little scared. Okay, let's see. Wow, man. Wow, man. Okay, a little, a little strident up there, but kind of has that, that Roy Buchanan thing. Um, I think he ran a twin all the way up. Uh, but, I mean, there's a lot of frequencies in there. I'm going to take it down again. My apologies, Perry. That was uh, pretty punishing in the room. But you got to know, the only way you know what something sounds like turned all the way up is to turn it all the way up. Now, we didn't have the master up there, and I'm not going to do that to you right now. You're going to have to do that at your local music store or <laughs> they're going to love you. So that's what the tut, what the cut is doing. I'm going to roll her back a little bit. Uh, I kind of want to try humbuckers and see what you feel with that. So now we're in humbucker land and everything is straight up in the middle with the exception of reverb, which is down a bit. Uh, so let's hear this. <laughs> Man, I like it. You know, real clarity. Um, let's check this verb a bit. I think the verb is really lush. Wow, it's great. Okay, a bit more verb than I might use all the time, but it's really lush. Yeah, so let's try seven watts too. Let's see if that does. Okay. Verb down a tiny bit. Let me turn on the overdrive with it. Bring that cut down a bit, mids up a bit, and bring it back up to full wattage. Okay, that's where I like it. I think this is a kind of amp that you could sit with for a half an hour and kind of dial in your thing and really get your own flavor out of it. So very cool, good on you, good doctor. And collaborating with Joe Walsh, there is no cooler thing than that. So to read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. While you're online, make sure you like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Instagram, all that jazz. Maybe have the hard copy sent right to your house. It's John Bolger, till next time. <laughs>